Hi to everyone! We are going to show you around our school and also give you some facts about it. The first primary school of Plagiari was established about 75 years ago and was right here at this point. Since then, because the population of Plagiari has increased so much, they have added more buildings and rooms. Unfortunately, today, instead of having a physics lab, a music room, a language room or an art room, we barely have enough rooms to house all our classes. Nevertheless, we love our school. So let's start our tour. We are now in the main building and you will see a typical classroom. This is a typical classroom of our school and we welcome you. We are in the fifth grade and we are going to show you our classroom. There are 23 students in our class. All the classes of our school have about the same number of students. Say hi to the European Workman's class. Hi. hi! As you can see in our class, we work in groups. We do all our subjects in this classroom except ICT and PE. Our teacher, Mr. Sargis, is great and he teaches us most of our subjects. We have a great time class. Most of the time, except when we write tests. No, just kidding. We do have a great time with him. Uh, the fact is that most, if not all, our teachers at school are terrific. What we would like to have in our classroom is an interactive board. But they are too expensive. But, the, but we have internet service and a projector, so it's better than nothing. We also try to make our classroom as pleasant as possible, as you can see. This is the Comedius Corner, some photos, and a science project. That's about it from us. Thank you for listening. Bye! Bye. Goodbye. Now we will take you to the gym. Follow us. Because the weather is usually great for most of the months, but when the weather is rainy, we come in here. Unfortunately, it's in the school basement, so it doesn't have much natural light. Anyway, it's better than nothing on cold, rainy days. <laughs> It's quite small as you can see, but it's very cozy. We come here to borrow books or study in our free time. Every year we organize a book exhibition at the school with the local bookstores and with the money we make we buy more books for our library. Some moms do volunteer work in our library. That's why it's in, it's in good condition. Sometimes teachers bring their classes here and they read to us. Our teachers also have authors of children's books visit the school as they come to the library and read us their stories and fairy tales. And now our computer room. Welcome to our computer room. We have ICT classes two days every week. There are about 12 computers here. So we share a computer with a classmate. A part of the, of the computer lesson, we use the computer room to do our school projects. Every now and then we are allowed to play games on the net under the supervision of our teachers, of course. This is 
is our special needs class. Follow me. Now some students are going to talk to you about the educational system in Greece and they will also give you some more facts about our school. The Greek educational system is divided into three levels. Primary, secondary and tertiary education. Primary education is divided into kindergarten lasting one or two years and primary school which is six years. Secondary education comprises two stages. The first stage is gymnasium or junior high school as we call it, which is compulsory for three years. After that, students can either attend high school, which is called Lycium, or have a vocational training. Higher education is provided by universities, polytechnics and technological institutes. All levels of education are catered for by both private and public school. States run schools and universities do not charge tuition fees and textbooks are provided free to all students. As far as primary education is concerned, the normal school day starts at a quarter past eight and finishes at half past twelve to a quarter past four, depending on the type of school. As you can see on the slides, kids attend kindergarten from the ages of four to six. Before that, they either stay at home or they go to a free school. The primary education begins at the age of six uh, and ends at the age of twelve. We cover a lot of subjects during our years in primary school. Uh, apart from the basic subjects like language and math, we also do art, music, technical studies, ICT, and of course English. In grades five and six, we can choose either German or French as a second foreign language. There are about 385 students in our primary school and four staff members. There are 18 classrooms, a special needs class, a gym, a computer room and a library. We, we also have various clubs running every year, like the drama club, the chess club, the scrabble club and mosaics club. Uh, we do all this as extracurricular activities after school. There is a school football team, a basketball team, and a volleyball team, and we take part in regional school championships. We can also try out for the school choir if we think we have a good voice. We think you don't have enough information about our school and the educational system in Greece. So now it's time to meet our village, our city, and of course, our beautiful country. Enjoy! Enjoy. Plagiari is a suburb of Thessaloniki. It is approximately 20 kilometers from the city center and 5 kilometers from the airport of Macedonia. The residential development is booming. In the census in 2001, there were 3,770 residents. It is estimated that with the last census in 2011, the population has reached 10,000 residents. As of 1997, Plagiari hosts source villages which houses 60 kids who have either been abandoned or their families cannot take care of them for some reason. Many of these children attend our school. Today, Plagiari has become a place of residence for people who want to get away from the hustle and bustle of city life. Residents can go to the beach of Panami to enjoy a daily stream in the beautiful clear waters. There are many beach bars where you can also enjoy cocktails and dance till the early hours. Thessaloniki is the second most populated city in Greece. It's been a major strategic, transport, commercial and cultural hub from ancient times to today. Most national highways and railways in Europe pass through it. Our port is the most important in the Balkans for commerce and for our holdings since many ferry boats live for the islands from here. There are many things you can do and see in Thessaloniki. The nightlife in Thessaloniki is exceptional. The bars and clubs play great music. The restaurants in the cities are among the best in Greece. If you like the software clothes, shoes and jewelry, you will be quite happy here. There are enough Roman and Byzantine sites to keep any history-minded visitor occupied, plenty of museums, and of course, the ruins of Regina, which include the tomb of Philip, father of Alexander the Great. 
It's also a good starting point to the best pizza for Kiliki, which you will taste when you get here. Greece, officially known as the Hellenic Republic, or Hellas, is a beautiful country in the Mediterranean Sea. It has a population of about 11 million. The climate is typical in the Mediterranean with cold and dry summers and, and mild winters. It is one of the sunniest and warmest countries in Europe. Greece has a very long history. Monuments such as the Parthenon and Delphi, philosophers like Aristotle and Plato. Sophocles and Euripides, uh, mathematicians like Pythagoras and Euclid are all part of the Greek heritage. Greek food is also popular around the world. The traditional fast food of Greece is souvlaki, which is grilled meat on a skewer. The Greeks are very friendly and hospitable people. Uh, unfortunately, since 2010, Greek is in recession and is facing a debt crisis. We hope that this will not last much longer. The Olympic Games first began in Greece in 776 BC and in 2004 we hosted the Summer Olympics. Football is the most popular sport and the Greek national football team won the UEFA 2004 championship. The most successful football teams are Pau, Parathenaikos and Olympiakos. Basketball, water polo and volleyball are also very popular sports. We hope you like our presentation. We look forward to seeing you here next year. Bye.